welcome back to another video. So today I'm here to review a new concealer, a drugstore one. We are going to be reviewing the Revolution Fast Base Concealer, um, which recently came out. Before we go on to it, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Bismarck Khan. I'm really up close. What on earth is going on? Thank you so much for your comment, Bisma. Um, if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and let me know when you have done so. Okay, so it says it highlights, brightens, and banishes under eye circles fast. Quickly perfect and cover dark circles by simply placing a few dots. You can gently blend out with your fingers, a brush or sponge. It's got medium buildable coverage, twist and fix on the go, and master your base in minutes. So it does come in 14 shades. To be honest, when I look at the colours, I have to be honest, like there are when I swatch them, there are definitely more like light to medium shades compared to tan, dark, deep shades. I just have to mention that and I don't know if it's because it is a concealer and generally most companies have less shades for concealers, but yeah, there's there's only maybe like three colours for dark deep and then maybe two tan and then the rest are light medium. I know I used to say that medium was less of a focus like most of the times but I think it really depends how you look at your shade range because some people call medium tan the same kind of thing but yeah for me I would consider myself more on the tan range and maybe just below dark so I, for me it's light medium tan dark deep just to generalize because i don't feel like i'm part of the medium range so yeah i don't know maybe it is just a concealer and i i don't get me wrong they do have some nice dark deep shades but i feel like there could be more just have to put that out there because that's what I think. Like even for myself, I can only use one shade and it's, I don't know, it's not exactly my skin colour, so yeah. Alright, so the shade I'm going to be using is C12. This is what it comes in. It looks like those Maybelline ones, but a bit more, like a thinner version. And you just kind of twist it up. Okay, I'm just going to put a bit, see that's quite dark. It's literally like not even a highlight shade. Definitely more neutral. I thought it'd be more on the warmer side, but when I look at it on my skin, it's more on the neutrally side. Okay, I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just blend this all out. I mean, it's not bad, it's like definitely a more natural concealer. I see myself wearing this on days where I just wear concealer, you know? It's okay. Definitely like covered a bit of my under eye circles and brightened a little bit maybe. I don't even want to go lighter because I feel like because there's not much coverage, it's just going to go ashy. I'm just going to put a bit of... C13. It's kind of like a bronzer shade. Could go a bit darker to be honest. This is C14. Okay, so the concealer definitely has like a really soft finish. Like it definitely makes the skin look really soft and it has a little bit of a glow to it. I don't know if you can see that. Since it says it's buildable, I'm going to put a bit of C12 again under my eyes. Because I just feel like, for me, it's not enough coverage. So I'm just going to put a bit more here. Okay, so it is a bit buildable. 
So here's just a bit of a, a close up of the concealer. It really blends nicely under the eyes. I really like it as a bronzer or like a contour shade, but it just blends so easily. I do have to say that. And it is a bit buildable because it added a bit more coverage under my eyes, which I'm happy about. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I'm just going to jump on to showing you guys some of the swatches of the rest of the shades. Okay, so the first color that we have is C0.5. That's light against my sister's skin color. <laughs> this is C.1. This is C2. This is C3. This is C4. C5, which is very yellow. This is C7. Another like golden -y shade. Then we have 0 0.85, which could be my highlight colour, but it is quite light to be honest. This is C9, which is more on a pinky side for me. We have C12, which is the colour I'm going to try today. This is C11, but I, I, I got it wrong. This is C12, this is C11. C11 is quite neutral for me. Then we have C13, 14, 16. There we go. So those are the shades. Alright, so I've just done the rest of my makeup and so far I'm really liking the way the concealer looks because my makeup is a bit more on the natural side, like I've worn a very lightweight, not lightweight, but kind of like medium coverage foundation I'm wearing a L'Oreal um, Pro Glow foundation I just love wearing this when it's super hot today it's just so hot um, and to be honest I don't really like wearing makeup in this weather anyway so I'm just going really light with it and I feel like this concealer is perfect for this weather it's really like medium coverage but it's definitely buildable it's not buildable to a full but it just adds a bit more coverage um, because I can see still bit, see a bit of darkness in the inner corner, but I'm not too fussed about that. And I love how, like, it's so easy to blend, like, especially as a bronzer. Like, I feel like I'm going to use this a lot. Um, the product itself is really nice. So, so far, so good. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. Um, and the applicator is really fun. Like, it's very soft and, you know, you can have some fun with Insta tutorials and things like that. So, yeah, I think they did good with this one. Maybe just, I think they could expand the darker range, the deep dark kind of shade range a bit more maybe more tan colors like that's we need more tan colors because there's definitely a lot of light and mediums but like tan dark deep colors we just need a bit a bit more of a bit of more of a bit more of so that's all i have to say i will see you guys in a bit it's now 9 10 so yeah i have to go run some errands and i'll be right back i'm probably gonna be sweating because i need to go out in this weather it's like 30 degrees up there but yeah i'll see you in a bit Alright guys, so I'm now back. It is now, what time is it? 8.15. It's almost been like a full 12 hours, like, and I'm pretty happy with my makeup. Like, I can't, I can't lie, like, I'm just really happy with it. Goodness. The lighting might be different because it's really dark out now. It finally rained today. I was so happy. I was, like, running in the rain. I was playing football in the rain, so I'm pretty surprised that, I don't know what my hair wants to do right now. But anyways, I'm pretty surprised that my makeup held up because I was literally in the rain. We did a barbecue in the rain, obviously we put a parasol on top, but it was just it's just been a nice day and I'm just really glad my makeup held up. Honestly, like I'm just happy with it. Obviously there's there are places where my foundation has faded out and but my concealer is on is in place. Like my forehead, my nose and under my eyes, it's just all in place. I do wear glasses, so it did come off a bit there. But just like the whole look, like it's just super natural. This is like gonna be my summer makeup. I actually really like this concealer. So I do hope they come out with new shades. I do feel like they should extend extend it a bit more because it is a good concealer, especially if you want something that's not full full coverage like Tarte Shape Tape or their Conceal and Define concealers. I'm really happy with it. Um, definitely recommend it to you guys if you're looking for that coverage and something a bit more natural. And yeah. I'm really happy with it. I can't believe it stayed. Here's just a close-up. This is like 12 hours later. 
and it hasn't even creased or done any weird lines yeah I'm definitely C12 and I'm happy with that shade maybe if I get paler because I am a bit more on the tan side and maybe it will be too dark but then I can go on to like C11 but even that's a bit like neutrally so that's why I want them to exchange, extend their shade range because I really like this concealer Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys want me to review any more other products, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.